Hello dear students, you are welcome in this video. Dear students, I hope you are enjoying our series on multiple choice questions which we are making for examination point of view and I am sure you will get benefit of this series but you should watch it complete and understand all the multiple choice questions. Dear students, in the last video we talked about or we have prepared uh, the multiple choice questions on sonnet and elegy as a form of poetry now dear students in this video we have a next uh, level of this sonnet and elegy i have selected for you a few famous sonnets and a few famous elegies and based on that we have made multiple choice questions so as always you need to take a pen and paper and note down the multiple choice questions the numbers of these questions for example first second third fourth and so and so forth so there are 20 questions and before that question please or in front of that question please write down your option and at the end you have to calculate your score we have assigned 40 marks to these 20 questions means means each question carries two marks uh, same as we have in the last videos so uh, solve all these questions try to solve i will give you answers first i will read the question then i will read four options and after that i will tell you the answer meanwhile you need to note down your option your own option and then i will tell you the answer so this will be the process of our multiple choice question so uh, students watch complete and calculate your score at the end and convey your score through comments i will appreciate your comments so let's take the multiple choice questions so dear students here we have mcqs on select sonnets and elegies for example we have sonnet 144 holy sonnet 14 the soldier then we have elegies like the convergence of the twin daddy o captain my captain and etc so here on the screen we have first question milton's lycidas arnold's thyrsis and spencer shepherd's calendar are the examples of please choose the correct option and here we have four options a classical elegies b greek elegies c pastoral elegies and d a and b so please note down your correct option and the correct option is c all these are pastoral elegies next question question number two sonnet 144 by william shakespeare is about options are a two lovers b two haters c two birds and d two men so please note down your option and the correct option is a two lovers now dear students if you think about shakespeare sonnet you will find shakespeare addressed his sonnets to uh, different things for example he addressed some sonnets to his friend then he addressed some sonnet to some mysterious lady called dark lady and uh, then we have his some sonnets dedicated to uh, the uh, different types of themes so this is uh, the division of shakespeare sonnet and we find the sonnets uh, most of the sonnets are dedicated to love to his dark lady there is some mysterious lady in his sonnet so we evidently find that mysterious uh, lady dark lady in his sonnets so this is two lovers next question number three who composed holy sonnet 14 and options are a john dunn b john milton c william wordsworth and d william shakespeare please note down your option and the correct option is john dunn john dunn composed this holy sonnet 14 next the sonnet the soldier is based on the theme of what is the theme of the sonnet called the soldier options are a war b a nation c destruction by war and d patriotic values of a soldier so i hope you know this question please note down your option and the correct option is d patriotic values of a soldier the theme of the soldier is patriotic values of a soldier question number five two signs is composed by who is the author of two signs we have options a robert herrick b ager allen poe c s t coleridge and d william wordsworth please note down your option 
एंड द करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज बी एजर एलन पो कम्पोज टू साइंस सो स्टूडेंट्स जनरली यू नो एजर एलन पो एज अ शॉर्ट स्टोरी राइटर एंड हु मेड मेनी एक्सपेरिमेंट्स इन शॉर्ट स्टोरीज इफ यू रीड एजर एलन पो यू विल फाइंड ही इज ए पर्सन हु हैव एक्सपेरिमेंटेड अ लॉट in the genre of short story but here he also composed some sonnets and we have a very fine sonnet called two signs if you look at that sonnet and its theme you will understand the very uh, basic things of uh, sonnet or uh, of ager allen po so this is two signs by ager allen po next the sonnet two signs talks about or generally what is the theme of two signs options are a poets respect for science b poets adherence for science c poets dislike for science and d poets value for science so please note down your option and the correct option is c poets dislike for science if you study this sonnet called two signs in this sonnet ager allen po talks about uh, his dislike towards sonnet uh, towards science because according to ager allen po science generally do not uh, give much importance uh, to the things which are beautiful in the nature so he is trying to show the contrast between science and in uh, general emotions or in uh, general attitude of people so this sonnet is very significant next question question number 7 a sweet disorder in the dress kindles in clothes a wantonness a lawn about the shoulders thrown into a fine distraction what poet wanted to convey through these lines so here we have four lines and in this four lines what poet wanted to convey to us and options are a importance of order or orderly things b importance of disorder c beauty of disorder and d ugly side of disorder please note down your option i think it is a simple question you might know the answer and the correct answer is c beauty of disorder if you look at these lines you will understand here poet wanted to convey us there is a beauty in disorder so he has given importance to disorder how sometimes disorder becomes significant and how sometimes this disorder imparts us beauty so disorder or disorderly things also are important in human life here uh, the point he wanted to convey us next question who wrote the convergence of the twin who is the poet of this elegy called the convergence of the twin options are a mark twain b thomas hardy c thomas love peacock and d sylvia plath so please note down your option and the correct option is b thomas hardy thomas hardy composed this famous uh, elegy called the convergence of the twin Question number nine: The convergence of the twin is based on the theme of sinking of the famous dash. Options are A. American ship, the Titanic; B. British ship, the Titanic; C. Indian ship, Virat; and D. French ship, cruiser. So I hope this is a simple question. And the correct option here we have B. British ship, the Titanic. now dear students thomas hardy has composed this fine elegy on the sinking of this famous british ship called titanic you might have watched the movie titanic it is based on the sinking of the titanic very big ship or a cruiser called titanic and on the same theme here we have an elegy composed by thomas hardy it is a fine elegy you will find minute observation by the poet in this uh, particular elegy next question question number 10 the elegy daddy is a dash a drama b dramatic monologue c dramatic dialogue and d dramatic epilogue please uh, consider this question which is important so basically daddy is in the form of and choose your option and the correct option is dramatic monologue now dear students what is dramatic monologue dramatic monologue is nothing but uh, uh, if you look at the word monologue mono means single log means uh, 
डायलॉग और लॉग मीन्स स्पीकिंग सो हियर पोएट स्पीक टू हर सेल्फ दिस इज द ड्रामेटिक मोनोलॉग एंड शी हैज ड्रामाटाइज द सिचुएशन इफ यू लुक एंड इन दिस सिचुएशन यू फाइंड शी इज वेरी सक्सेसफुली कन्विंस्ड हर इमोशंस टू द रीडर्स सो दिस इज द क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन ऑन डैडी नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वी हैव क्वेश्चन नंबर इलेवन डू नॉट गो इन टू दैट जेंटल नाइट रिटर्न बाय डीलन थॉमस फॉर हिज डाइंग डैश ऑप्शन आर ए father b mother c daughter and d wife i hope this is again a simple question and the correct answer is a so this uh, particular elegy is written for his dying father so here we find dylan thomas's emotions towards his father question number 12 walt whitman wrote o captain my captain to lament the death of dash options are a abraham cowley b john kennedy c george washington and d abraham lincoln so please note down your option so dear students again we have this famous elegy o captain my captain it is based on a leader american leader and in this uh, elegy particularly poet talks about the greatness of that leader and how that leader have transformed america and to lament his death he composed this o captain my captain and he is directly calling to this leader as captain so please recognize who was that captain and the correct option is d abraham lincoln so this sonnet is composed for abraham lincoln 13 here we have a few lines the boast of heraldry the pomp of power and all that beauty all that wealth ever gave awaits alike the inevitable are the paths of glory lead but to the grave so these famous lines are taken from dash options are a on the death of joseph rodman drake by fitz green halleck b daddy by sylvia plath c elegy written in a country churchyard by thomas gray and d elegy written in a porch yard by thomas sackwill please note down your option i hope this is again a very famous uh, elegy written by a famous poet and the correct option is elegy written in a country churchyard by thomas gray so dear students this elegy is very famous and if you read this elegy you will find every line is uh, like a quotation you can use these lines uh, everywhere and you find this is oft quoted elegy in english literature so these kind of lines for example the paths of glory lead but to the grave is a famous line from this elegy and it gives you some philosophy of life and how things can be different uh, in a person's life everything uh, there we find in this elegy and it talks about the universalism so universal elements also are there in this elegy written in a country church yard by thomas gray and again uh, dear students you have one elegy called on the death of joseph rodman drake by fitz green halleck daddy by sylvia plath and there is no elegy uh, here if you find option d elegy written in a poor chair this is not an elegy just i have included this option and uh, i have given it is written by thomas sackwill so consider this is not an elegy this is not any work in english literature just i have given you an option so next question 14 the first section of elegy written in a country church yard describes the atmosphere and scene of dash options are a grave b town c lake side and d country side please choose your option and correct option is d country side so uh, we find the description of country side in this elegy next question according to the sonnet the soldier the poet grew up in where did poet grow up options are a in france b in england c in italy and d in germany and the correct option is in england the poet grew up in england next in the view of the poet the better angel described in sonnet 144 is dash options are a the man b the woman c the boy and d the girl so this sonnet is composed by william shakespeare just 
रिकोगनाइज हु इज द बेटर एंजल इन दैट पर्टिक्युलर सॉनेट एंड द करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज ए द मैन शेक्सपियर डिस्क्राइब द मैन एज द बेटर एंजल इन द सॉनेट क्वेश्चन नंबर 17 जॉन डन इज नोन एज डैश ऑप्शन आर ए रोमांटिक पोएट बी मेटाफिजिकल पोएट सी नेचर पोएट एंड डी क्लासिकल पोएट प्लीज नोट डाउन युअर ऑप्शन आई होप दिस इज अगेन ए सिंपल क्वेश्चन एंड द ऑप्शन टू दिस क्वेश्चन इज बी मेटाफिजिकल पोएट जॉन डन इज ए मेटाफिजिकल पोएट क्वेश्चन नंबर 18 रूपर्ट ब्रुक इज नोन एज डैश ऑप्शन आर ए वॉ पोएट B pastoral poet C nature poet and D none of the above please note down your option and the correct option is war poet Rupert Brooke so if you look at the sonnet called the soldier is composed by Rupert Brooke and Rupert Brooke is known as the war poet because uh, he composed this uh, poem or this sonnet based on the war and the effects of war you find and the values of a soldier so here we have rupert brook next 19 according to the po science is just blind towards nature and beauty a option false and b option true so you have here only two options and the correct option is b it is true because ajer allen po thinks that science is blind towards nature and beauty and here we have last question on the screen 20 at the beginning of elegy written in a country churchyard the time described is dash again this is simple question options are a late night b midnight c early morning and d late evening so please note down your option and the correct option is d late night so dear students this is all about the 20 multiple choice questions i hope you enjoyed all these questions please convey your score calculate your score and please like this video share this video among your friends and if you have not subscribed literature simply please subscribe it and press the bell notification icon thank you very much let's meet in the next video